G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this video is about how I prepare my chickens and ducks when I go away on holidays to make sure that they are looked after and they can fend for themselves while I'm away. Now when I do this I think, think of four major points initially that I need to get covered and they're, they're pretty simple. Food, water, shelter and security. They're my main four things. Now, there's a few other little points that, that I um, will get to along the way but they're the main things. So food, I make sure that my chickens and ducks have enough food for what, when I'm away. Now I'm going away for four days over the Easter break. I'm shooting this video now and I'll release it after when I come back <laughs> so that no one rats my place out while I'm gone after seeing this video knowing that I'm away uh, but yeah so food the chickens eat around 400 grams a day of food ducks eat a little bit more than that I generally allow for at least 400 but I go way over really and uh, make sure that there's ample food and that all my feeders are topped up because they're not going to be out in, in pasture and not eating lots of grass and uh, finding things outside in the grass and in the litter. I'm going to have to allow for that and I'm going to introduce a few other ingredients into their pen, primarily lettuce, iceberg lettuce, which is the one that has the beautiful heart and it's really tight and crisp. That's excellent for chickens and ducks because what I like to do is throw them whole or in half in the pen and it takes them a few days to peck it apart and get through it rather than having it all loose and, and easy. So it keeps them occupied too, a bit like foraging for food when they're out free ranging. So that's what I use for food, make sure all their feeders are topped up, give them a bit of extra feed, make it a little bit more challenging for them and so because they don't get their extra pasture while I'm away. The second thing is water. I make sure that there's plenty of water and I like to have a backup water supply. In my pen, I'm lucky I've got the ducks. I've got a big duck pond which I'm going to clean out and make sure that's all nice for them because they're not going to be out free ranging and they can't get access to their dam. So I have an internal pond that they go in and have a play in if they can't get outside that it can also double as a water source at an extreme for the chickens and ducks if some of the water stations that I have fail which is unlikely but I still like to have a backup plan because chickens and ducks can get in a lot of trouble very in a very short period of time in hot weather if there is no water I make sure that it's foolproof or fail proof I've got that and I've got my duck buckets a small one and a large one and so if any of the other drinkers fail, my cup drinkers and nipple drinkers, then there's access to open water. So I have two separate drinkers and a number of open drinkers that my chickens can go to and ducks. So that's how I make sure that there's enough water and I make sure obviously that they're all topped up and that my drinkers can hold a month or two of water. The uh, third thing I'd like to speak about is the shelter. I just make sure that I make that the pen's clean, that all the bedding is updated and new and clean before I go. Uh, obviously because they're going to dirty it all up and I'm not going to be here every day to clean it out. I scatter extra hay and straw around and I keep the nesting boxes nice and topped up and full of bedding before I go. Uh, security, my birds get out every day to a external paddock and free range and that external paddock has a dog proof fence around it but it's not fox proof. I simply couldn't just leave my pen open and know that they'll roost at night and then come out and free range through the day because I know a fox will eventually get through the dog fence or over it and make carnage in my out of my chickens and ducks. So what I'm going to do is leave them enclosed in their internal pen for the duration that I'm away. Which isn't bad for a short term thing. In fact my pen is big enough to keep them in there full time. But even if your pen or someone's pen is small, it's still not a bad thing to keep 
them in as long as they're secure, you know, for the time that you're away. It's not going to hurt them as long as there's enough water and food and the bedding's all good. They're my main four points that I really like to ensure that I have squared away before I'll go on my holidays. I just want to mention, if you're going to go away for, say, a long period of time, for, look, three or four days is okay for chickens and ducks, and the eggs will just pile up in the in the laying boxes and it won't be too much of a drama but if you're going away for a few weeks or even a week it's a good idea to have someone just pop in gather the eggs up and have a quick look around and make sure everything's okay just for peace of mind well I've done what I've had to do I've got them secure in their pen it's just about dark and now I'm pretty happy they've got their food all done they've got plenty of water they can't run out of that They've got good bedding, they're tucked in, and they're secure. I've even put a plank of wood against the door just so the wind won't accidentally blow that open in the unlikely event that it could. Apart from that, I mean, you can't bomb-proof these things, but I'm pretty happy that these guys will be safe for when I'm away and leave early tomorrow morning and away for the next three or four days. So I hope those tips help some people. This is what I do to prepare my chickens and ducks for when I go away. If you have any tips, please feel free to throw them down below. It's gonna help people out. And um, you got any suggestions or you wanna make a comment down below, fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. So we're back from our Easter break and these guys will be keen to be left out. The ducks at the end here. I bet there's nothing left of those iceberg lettuces. The duck pond is dirty. Duck water. We have a squilling eggs. So I'll have to collect them. And I bet she's sitting on about 20. The ducks are out. And a successful return home from our holiday. With everybody all happy and and fine. These guys look like they're keen to get their dam. They almost can't wait, can they? Dam time! Let's go! Who's going to be first? You yeah, beauty! Woohoo! He let us out!